The thing about an Amazon tool set like Zongu is we have so many tools that you can access and so many data points. So I thought it would be a really good idea is for me to actually highlight what are some of those secret data points or little tools that will really be impactful for your business that you may have not discovered yet. So here are my top recommendations about secret tools and data points in Zongu that you can use right now to help impact your business. All right, so number one is the I'm feeling lucky button. So if you're in the product niche finder tool and you're feeling stuck, you don't know how to actually find new ideas and you're just getting that analysis by paralysis, just go in there and hit the I'm feeling lucky button and it returns random products that you could actually look at and assess and see whether you want to sell it. So it's just a great way to get your mind to tick over and to just get some new ideas in. So let me show you how that works. All right, so I'm in uh, the niche finder right now and we have easy mode and advanced mode and a way of returning a whole bunch of products in different categories. But if you're just stuck again here, yeah, just hit this I'm feeling lucky button. So I'll do that right now and let's see what comes back. All right, so you see the dice spin and here we go. Sterilite three, three draw small. So a decent score, a lot of information you can look at. But if you don't like this idea, you can just literally hit the random I'm feeling lucky button again and you're gonna get some random other product back and you can just keep going and getting new ideas in. So you can see we hit here and we've got mahogany teakwood candle. Could be an interesting product for you. Check it out. It's a great way to get new ideas in. So that's number one. All right, number two in product research is actually in our Chrome extension. And it's a little data point that is really useful for me. And it's a little number one, two, and three that appears in the Chrome extension that tells me which are the top products for that keyword that get the most clicks and conversions from actual customers clicking on that listing. It's a really good way for me to see what are the up and coming products that potentially are getting a lot more clicks from customers that might not be ranked in the first position yet. So it gives me good insight. What are the price points that people are clicking on and what are the main images that people really like? So check it out, I'll show you right now. All right, so this is our Chrome extension. I've just typed in camping cart as an example. I brought up the Chrome extension. There's a bunch of data here that can help you validate the potential of a product. But this is what I'm talking about. This little number one, two, and three down here. You see right here, number one, number two, and there should be a number three down here too. Yeah, here's a number three as well. So that's telling me those are the three products that are getting the most clicks and conversions out of everything on page one. So why is it? Is it the price point? Is it uh, the images? Is it the quality? You can dive in and have a look, but that's really interesting to me because they're certainly not in position one, but they are getting the most clicks now that could be up and coming as well. Check that out. All right, here are my top tips on listing optimization. If you're trying to optimize your listing to get the most traffic, here are my key data points that you should look at within Zongu. Number one is back end keywords. Did you know that you can actually spy on your competitors' back end keywords using our keyword spotlight tool? I think we're the only one in the space that actually allows you to actually look at those keywords. So let me show you how it works. All right, here is our tool keyword spotlight. I've uploaded a listing that was actually on that uh, cot camping page we were on. Uh, it was a sleeping bag, so I've uploaded it. And you can see we've pulled in all of their bullets, their, their title, uh, everything around this listing. But you can see right here under search terms, we've pulled in their back end keywords. So you can see what are they actually putting in their back end keywords? What are they putting in there that might bring them traffic that they haven't put into their main listing? It's really interesting to look at your competitors and see what they put in their back end keywords. So check that out. That's number three. All right, number four, this is actually a view within our most powerful keyword research tool called Keywords on Fire. It's my favorite view and it's the competitor view for every single competitor and where they rank for a specific keyword. And it's a little bit hidden, so I'm gonna show you how to unlock that. But this is a real expert view that a lot of our expert sellers use. So check this out, I'll show you right now. All right, I'm in Keywords on Fire and I've run a session here for Rain Barrel. Uh, it's a product that's obviously doing quite well on Amazon. And we have a bunch of keywords and we have a bunch of data points here, like dollars from keywords, search volume, the top uh, competitors and where they rank. But this is the view that I wanna show you. If you actually go under table settings, by default this isn't loaded, but if you go here and you see competitor positions, uncheck that and hit apply. And what you're gonna see is all of the top 25 competitors on page one for that search term, rain barrel, and all of the keywords that they rank for, we can show where they rank up to, I think, position 250. So here you see every single competitor and where they rank. And what's actually pretty cool is we color code this area visually. So when you look across here, everything that's red means they're pretty well optimized or ranking. 
But where you start to see green or a dash means that they're actually not optimized for that keyword at all. And that's where you, you can spot uh, product or keyword opportunities that you could potentially target. So you could look at search volume, find those ones that have high search volume, but not that much competition from the top 25 competitors. And you can target that keyword in your listing, in your PPC campaigns, and really start to rank and dominate for those keywords. It's really awesome. Uh, this is an, a, a very expert tactic, as I said, but it's really important when you're optimizing your listing and it's the only tool in the space that actually does that. So check it out, it's awesome. All right, number five is the ZG score that we give you in Keywords on Fire. And I wanna talk a little bit about this because we give you so many data points in Keywords on Fire. As I said, like search volume, competition opportunity, uh, dollars from keywords, uh, review count, a whole bunch of data that helps you to identify what are the keywords that I can really win on and that are gonna bring me the most traffic that aren't as competitive. There's a lot of data points to, to work through there. And the thing that I wanna say here is the ZG score and the ranking that we give it out of 100 factors in all of those kind of tiny nuances that we have to make decisions around around keywords. So learn to trust the ZG score because it makes it so much simpler. You can just literally sort for the top uh, 20 keywords with a high ZG score and those will be the keywords that you, that you should actually target in your listing. So as you work through this and you, and you look at certain data points, make sure you look at the ZG score because that makes it so much simpler for you to actually factor that into your listing and that's validated by all of our developers who are sellers and they use it every single day. We look at all these data points when I say to them, hey, what do you put into your listing? They say, hey, just give me the top 20 ZG score items and I'll put that in because they understand how they've validated that on the back end. So check that out, it's really important. All right, let's move on to business management. If you are truly trying to scale your Amazon business, there are really important pieces of data and tools that you need to use on a weekly basis to really keep that Amazon flywheel going. And I wanna talk about a few of my favorite data points. The first one is Product Pulse. This is a tool that we have in place to really manage and alert you when certain things change on your listing, for example, your dimensions or uh, what Amazon charges you for your product, or if you run out of stock or your price changes, these are important things that you can get alerted to on your own actual product. But the trick I wanna talk about here is you can add any of your top competitors and get alerts when they change things on their listing. So if they change their images, their bullets, their pricing, you will get an email alert saying, hey, they made a change, or if they've gone out of stock, these are critical pieces of information that will help you to understand why your sales have gone up or down. And most importantly, if there is a change in price or they go out of stock, you can go in and change your price or adjust your listing accordingly to maximize the amount of traffic and conversions you can actually get when your competitors fall out of favor. So really important, track your top competitors in Product Pulse. All right, so let me show you real quick. This is Product Pulse and you can see, we've, we, you, know, you can just go in here, you can add any ASIN and add and it's gonna track and alert you for all of these items here. Price, dims, weight, status, reviews, ratings, rating, sellers. All of these are really important data points and you'll get an email alert. So track your own products and your competitors. It's really cool. Number seven is assistant manager. This is really helpful in managing your business because as you scale your business and you bring on virtual assistants, you can give them access to your account and give them certain views so they can help manage, for example, your keyword listing or you know other parts of your business but not really access your business dashboard if you want to not give them access to that. So go in and use Assistant Manager. Uh, it's right over here, let me show you. So just go into your Zonguru account, go under your account settings and go down here to Assistant Accounts, click on that. This view will load here and you can start to add certain individuals, you can give them permissions, access to certain tools and importantly not access to other tools. So definitely use that as you scale your business. All right, number eight, this is one of my favorites as well, it's add-ons. So if you have a subscription with Zonguru and depending on where you are with your business, you might wanna scale up certain tools and get more use out of them or scale down certain tools and get less use out of them depending on what you're using at this time. So it's a really flexible subscription and a lot of people don't know that you can manage those individual tools. So go into your subscription, I'm gonna show you right now how it works. All right, so you go into your subscription on the right-hand side again. So go here to subscription plan, click on that. And when you hit change my subscription, it'll show you the actual tool that you're on and it shows you all the, the tools and you can do add-ons. So you can, you can, for example, increase your keyword spotlight or your niche finder or your product pulse up and down or you, can, or you can decrease it depending on what you're using right now. And that'll 
increase your subscription price or decrease it. So it's really flexible for de depending on where you are with your business right now. Check that out, it'll help you a lot. All right, and this is the final one. I'm gonna give you three bonuses and it's really about knowing what's the latest in Zong Guru and importantly, how to get the most support and education. So check these out, they're really cool. I'm gonna show you on screen right now. The first one is what's new. So if you click on what's new, you will see a detailed list of everything on Zonguru and what's been released in the last month, two months, etc. So if you're not up to speed with the latest and greatest on Zonguru, go in there, click on it, and look at the detail of the tool so you can really understand what's new and available to you in your subscription. That's number one. Number two is under learn and grow, we have this really cool section called Zonguru badges. This is a step-by-step -step tool or gamified way of, of going through Zonguru and it will tell you which tools to use to really help you with your business right now and you can get badges unlocked along the way. Some bonuses come your way as you unlock badges. So check it out, it makes it a lot more fun and, uh, and interesting. So check that out, it's really cool. All right, and the big final one is live training. There's a button right up in the top section of Zonguru and there's live training that happens every single week. You can jump on, explore the topic that's being talked about and also importantly, ask questions from support and get answers. It's right here on the top, hit join live upcoming webinar. You'll be taken to a screen. You can schedule in your live training and therefore get the latest and greatest from our passionate support team, uh, Darren, Josh, and, and everyone else on that team. You gotta check it out right now. All right, that's it. Those are my top tips on things that you might not have known about Songuru that will really help you with your business and be impactful on your research your listing optimization, or your business management. I know there's a lot there. It was actually tough for me to narrow it down to those few. And if you actually wanna just skip ahead in this video, there are timestamps below highlighting each tool so you can come back, view that again, and look on your own uh, Zonguru subscription and find that place on the tool. Uh, I hope you enjoy it, and there'll be many more tips coming away because we have brand new tools coming out every single week, every single month that are gonna help you move your Amazon business forward. Cheers for now, I'm John from Zonguru. Click on the link below and up, thumb, like, whatever you need to do.